thanks to um, Sport England's Together Fund, um, through, which is then distributed through Sustrans, um, we've got grant funding to provide inclusive led rides in and around beautiful York. Um, we try and use as many um, car-free national cycle network routes as much as possible and open for any adults over the age of 18, um, no matter what ability, even if you can't ride on two wheels. We've got trikes, recumbents, wheelchair transporters, hand cycles, wheelchair tandems, all sorts, you name it, um, we will find a bike to get you on and take you out on um, a lovely bike ride. Every year for about 15 years we ran a festival of cycling just here with 120 bikes and we had other bikes at the other end of the park in our big mega bikes, you know, seven seaters and our static bikes, it was marvellous. And then the funding stopped, we couldn't afford to do it. But um, what we'd like to do for next summer, tell me what you think, is have a mini cycling festival just round here. So we can have 40 or 50 bikes just going round this big, the big loop here that we always use. Pat, do you remember when there was a van stand here? I do. Yeah, I remember that as well. Cycling in York is fantastic compared to a lot of cities, but we would definitely, especially with us doing these inclusive rides, and um, to have barriers removed, and um, which I know the Sustrans are working on, and I have removed some, but definitely to make cycling um, more accessible um, for everybody, to remove barriers. For example, if you're in a wheelchair transporter, it'd be very difficult to get through a barrier, and therefore you can't go out and enjoy that route. So definitely the removal of barriers and more cycle network routes um, that are not on roads and are dedicated um, just for cyclists and walkers and make it safer for everybody to get around. Yeah, that challenge. 